This is the lecture for Taylor's, uh, Richard Taylor's The Meaning of Life. So uh, two things to talk about. First, as you'll notice when you read, there's a lot of similarities between Taylor and Camus. And so it's worth sort of thinking about the degree to which they're the same, the degree to which they're different. Um, Taylor divides this kind of into first talking about meaninglessness and then talking about uh, meaning and meaninglessness of life, and then talking about meaning in life. And that's similar to Camus sort of starting with the absurd and then going from there to what we should do about it. Uh, and then there's many other similarities between them too. Uh, but then there's also differences too. And I'm, it's it's sort of not easy, or it's not obvious how to compare the two against each other. So that's just one thing to say, which is uh, there's useful things to think about when you put the two together. And Taylor invites this comparison. He uses Sisyphus as uh, one of his examples. And then the second point to talk about is Taylor's understanding of meaning in life. And so we get this article, what does he think meaning in life is? And he doesn't actually give us a lot of details by the end about two things. Number one, where does meaning come from? So what is sort of the origin of meaning? And then what is the nature of meaning in life? So like, tell us more about what it looks like. And so these two things, it's useful, number one, to look closely at what does he say about these things. He says some stuff about each of them, especially the first. So he says some stuff, just very a very small amount of it. So look closely at what he says. And number two, think about what he might say. Like if he kept writing, if there were more to this article, what would that look like? And then you can compare that to Camus and then also just think about it uh, on its own and what you think about that kind of answer and what Taylor would say.